right, so let's start. Second last topic, pie chart. I think all of you have created pie chart in Excel. I know what it looks like. It's a round circle in which the slices is being taken up. I know which is mentioning the exact values over there. Same thing we can create in R also. Okay. So write down, write down the heading, pie chart. Be quick. Write down the heading pie chart. In pie chart, write down. A pie chart is a circular graphical view of data. A pie chart is a circular graphical view of data. In the next line, write down. Use the, use the, look at the board, pi function. You have to write like this. Use the pi function to draw pi charts. Use the pi function to draw pi charts. Now, there is a difference. We have done three charts till now, mm -hmm. right? The first one, the second one, and the this one. The. So, we have used over there plot function. And in the type, we have mentioned L for the line chart. But here, we have pi function available directly okay so how we are going to create a pie chart just create a vector in which you are going to mention the portions Achha, you have studied that way back in your school times that the amount of gases in the atmosphere do you remember huh? what beta boyle's law i don't know if it's law or something i'm just asking about how many levels of percentage we have how many percentage of Oxygen is there in the atmosphere. How many percentage of? I know 21. Chalo, let's create that. Let's create a. Uh, let's create a vector by the name gases. For vector, we are going to use the C function. Inside the C function, we are going to put the values over here. Chalo, uh, how much amount not uh, nitrogen is there? 70. Exact 70. 71 percent. Then, how much oxygen we have? 21. Sure. I think it's 29 or 28 something. 28 something. Yes, 78. Height and oxygen is 20. 20.5. 20. 20. 0. 0.04. 0. 0.04 and the less. Rest one is your other gases. What is the rest? 0.01. Ah, that's okay. Abhi ek ek gas nahi nikal hai. And now we are not going to look into every single gases over here. So this is this constitutes 200 percent. Okay. Now let's put this inside the pi chart by using the pi function. And inside the pi function, we are going to put our vector gases. And what will going to happen? It will going to display in that proportion area only. Animesh, try it out. Try it out in your laptop. Is it coming over there? Perfect. It's showing. I am not asking about the exact values. I can put it like this also. Let it be 21, let it be 2, let it be 1. So what it's going to take the values only over there. 75, 24, 23, then 2, but 1, comma 1. Try it out. Putting up over there. Change the values. Try and increase the values over there. Is it giving an error? If you put instead of 23, if you put 26, what it is showing? It's giving it, it's pointing it out now in that chart. So it's taking a whole 
uh, amount is going to be more than 100. It's not like 100 percent over there. It's not going to be an exact ratio. That's what I am trying to say. You know, it's just the values that you are putting inside the pie, and it's taking that particular share. The values are representing that much, and it's coming in different colors. Yes. So the distinguish is already there. We have to put the colors inside the line graph. We have to put the colors inside the scatter graph. But here the colors are already available to distinguish. Okay. So, sir, See, we are, yes, it's going to divide it into equal parts. It's a 360 degree circle. Yes. So, it's going to take any amount of complete value or universal value and then it's going to divide it into equal ratios. It's just going to look, on, look into the number of values. Like, it will going to add 75, 23, 1 and 1 and then the total is going to be divided into 4. So That's it. No, it's not going to have any upper lip. Just write down. I want to give you a note over here. I am just saying, if there are four values and if I want to divide it equally, I am going to add them all. That is representing our whole circle. And then if I am going to divide it by four, then what will going to happen? It is just going to come, come into equal shares. That I can represent on a circle. So there is no such thing like upper limit or lower limit of something like this over here. I know. Are you understanding, Ankur? All of you are okay with this fact? Yes. Chalo. Write down, there is a note over here, write down. The size of each pi, the same point I am making you write right now, you know. The size of each pi is determined, the size of each pi is determined by comparing the value, the size of each pi is determined by comparing the value with all the other values, with all the other values, by using this formula, by using this formula, look at the board, look at the board, the formula is x upon sum x. By using this formula, it is going to divide the regions basically inside the pi. Alright? Sure. One more line, one more note you have to write down, write down. By default, by default, the plotting of the first pi, by default, the plotting of the first pi starts from by default the plotting of the first pi starts from the x axis and move counterclockwise and move counterclockwise that means in the reverse direction it's going to move okay now Next topic, write down, start angle. Write down the next topic, start angle. You can change the start angle. You can change the start angle of the pie chart. You can change the start angle of the pie chart with the with the, look at the board, with the INIT in it dot angle parameter. This is the parameter by which we can change the start angle. You can change the start angle of the pie chart with the INIT dot angle parameter. Next line write down. The value of init dot angle the value of init dot angle is defined with the value of init dot angle is defined with angle in degrees is defined with angle in degrees where default angle is where default angle is zero where default angle is 
zero. So try it out. Just change this representative. First of all, in the pi only we are going to put the vector. This is our first parameter, and let's put the second parameter in it. Dot angle equals to now put any angle that you require and see what is the difference between the two graphs. The graph that we have created earlier, it has at that one is at zero degree. Put thirty three degrees over here. I know, and it will going to change a little bit. Just a changed representation of the data, nothing else. And I think the labels are clear to all of you. There is no x-axis and y-axis over here in the pie chart, right? So we have label parameter over here. The title, the main title of your uh, chart is going to be represented by main only, but there is no x-axis, there is no y-axis. If you want to give any labels to your chart, you can just put uh, label equals to whatever the label you want to give. Okay, so write down. Put this then over there. Like we are giving the label to it as my label, and uh, main the title is uh, we can put what? This is the name of that vector. What is what is this basically? The composition of gases, huh? Composition of atmosphere. No, composition of gases in the atmosphere, right? Huh? We have to define the labels. Like suppose for each value, I have to define the label. So this my label is going to be another vector, and in this one we are going to define another vector in which we are going to mention the names of the gases. So it's going to be first one is what nitrogen, second one oxygen, third one CO2. And the last one is other gases. Now run the code. Is it showing the labels also around the pie chart now? Done. It's coming up over there. Yes, I think it's going to come. Check. Maybe you have written something wrong over there. Have you written C just next to nitrogen outside nitrogen? Ah, huh? you have created a vector. How many of you are getting the answer? These many. That means the code is perfect. Just check if you have done something wrong over there. Check what name you have given to that my label variable. Aniket, spelling error. My label. All right. Next one. Yes, just a minute. Now, the colors that you are getting right now are system generated, right? You can define colors also. And then you can pass it inside the COL parameter. Okay. 
so let's put it over there after guesses and after my label create another vector by the name colors inside it just give the color names over here you guys suggest the colors now four colors i require from you guys just remove that code or just change that particular value and run it again that's it i think you have some put some comma or something extra like that. it's done correct na r studio or r interface हाँ तो मे बी इट्स अ कंपाइलर इश्यू यस चलो राइट डाउन राइट इट डाउन क्विकली द लेजेंड कैन बी पोजिशन एज आई द लेजेंड कैन बी पोजिशन एज आई द लेजेंड कैन बी पोजिशन एज आई द in the next line start writing the values separated by commas okay first is bottom right bottom right comma bottom comma bottom left there is no space in the word bottom right and bottom left okay it's together one word comma left comma top left comma top right top right and center center er center er see do you know what's the difference between c e n t r e and c e n t e r these are not same words there is a difference between c e n t r e and c e n t e r like you got a center in your examination it's not geographically center it's just meant to be that all people are going to gather at that particular place that is your c e n t r e and center c e n t e r means exactly in the middle of something okay that's the difference so we always going to write down c e n t e r okay hamesha yaad rakhna always you are going to write down c e n t e r as the value so we are done with the pie chart any doubt to anyone just check the spellings the code is absolutely correct maybe you are going to do some mistakes like l a b l e likh diya kahin pe hai na or maybe you have written the color spelling wrong maybe it's not in the same case somewhere you have written it in capital somewhere in the afterwards you are using it in the small case vice versa hai na chalo let's move to the last chart that is your bar chart so let's create the bar chart now our bar charts write down very important whenever we want to show the difference in trends hai na we have to directly compare the values in a particular year we use the bar charts or what was the other chart that we have used in the excel it's your column chart the column chart and bar charts are the one which is basically just change in the altitude they are changing the angles basically they are bar charts are horizontal ones and column charts are the vertical ones hai na they are basically doing the same thing they are comparing the trends hai na so write down a bar chart uses rectangular bars a bar chart uses rectangular bars to visualize data a bar chart uses rectangular bars to visualize data now see here the bar chart is doing both the works you know it can be used horizontally also it can be created vertically also it's doing the work of column chart also and bar chart also write down in the next line bar charts can be displayed bar charts can be displayed bar charts can be displayed horizontally or vertically bar charts can be displayed horizontally or vertically 
done continue writing the height or length the height or length of the bars the height or length of the bars are proportional are proportional to the values they represent proportional to the values they represent for this also we have another function the first three ones using plot the last two ones are using pi function and this one is using bar plot aniket has already done that na you have already created this so write down use use the use the look at the board use the bar plot it's a single word use the bar plot function use the bar plot function to draw a vertical bar chart use the bar plot function to draw a vertical bar chart now see by default it is not creating the horizontal bar charts what it is creating it's creating vertical bar charts okay so write down in your id or studio let's pass first of all the values in the form of vectors okay x just for example we are taking this x is a then we have inside it we are putting b c e so these are the values for x axis for y axis let's define the other set of values any random values any numbers let's put 2 5 8 11 and 13 i think four values are there let's keep it uh, same you know let it be four 2 5 8 11 11 and now let's create the bar plot so there is a difference over here let's put the bar plot over here by using the bar plot function pass the y parameter first here the y parameter is going to be passed first and now we are going to use a parameter of bar plot in which we are going to pass the x axis value and that parameter name is names dot arg names dot arg and let's put x inside it names dot arg basically it defines the names of each observation in the x axis whatever the values are there we are going to define them in for the x axis we define it with the help of the names dot arg parameter it's basically names of arguments we have studied arguments in the functions hai na arguments are what these are basically the direct values that we pass inside a function hai na so we are passing the arguments by using a vector over here directly and if i have to plot it on the x axis we are putting it inside the names dot arg parameter create this one see if it is showing some results coming up properly what it is showing on the x axis a b c d in a particular a different format or something like sim simple format so take it write down write down put a note names dot arg 
names dot arg defines the names of names dot arg defines the names of each observation defines the names of each observation in the x axis done so i'm not going to tell you use it by yourself change the color okay. which operator col if we pass suppose there are four values if i pass four colors then it will going to go in different bars ha huh? create a vector colors create a vector colors put four different colors over there inside it and pass it inside the call parameter it's coming different colors are coming for each bar animesh all right it's coming what about others first try and put call equals to red so it will going to give you the red color over there and then try and put the colors vector inside it from the above code just copy and put it over there in your code different colors are coming i think this is more accurate representation of trends you know we can do it properly over here with this next is right on the next topic density slash bar texture density slash bar texture i think you got the idea density slash bar texture it's basically changing the density of the texture the color filled inside the bar itself right on to change the bar texture you have put the values over there you are on the website itself you are doing it on all right right on to change the bar texture to change the bar texture comma use the density parameter so we have density parameter now so you have used what parameter perfect write down to change the bar texture use the density parameter so in the same just put the density parameter over here put a comma put density over here and put the value maybe suppose 20 or 10 15 let's suppose we'll put the value 15 over here this colorful density is coming lines in the form of lines yes. it's coming animesh ka bhi ek put kar dete hum statement he has discovered something hai na yes after this you can write col and whatever the color you require write down density or den density or den d e n both can be used both can be used to change the bar texture density or den both can be used to change the bar texture done let's change the thickness the width of it for width we have the width attribute we have done it before also i know we have used lwd at that time and a line width here we write directly width like this wi dth now here if i put single value it will going to be for every bar i can pass the vector also of values and it will adjust all the bars separately okay let's put a vector over here let's create another vector or let's create the vector over here itself see 
and put the values like 2, uh, 4, 1 and 6. Put these values over there and see if it is showing some difference in the thickness of bars. They are going to show, they are direct commands, we are not doing anything else over here. We are using the direct commands till now. Now, I had talked about it in the starting that we have by default vertical bars and you are seeing it also that vertical bars are coming. How to get the horizontal bars? So we have horiz, H-O-R-I-Z parameter. Just set it as true. By default it is false. It is showing you vertical bars. If you want to show in the horizontal direction, we have to use this parameter over here. See, H O R I Z and put its value as true. It's a Boolean value. It's a Boolean parameter. You know, we can pass true and false over here. By default, it's already false. If I want the bars in the format of horizontal, you know, so what we are going to do, we are going to put the horiz parameter over there and set it value as true. It's coming over there. Alright, this concludes our plot. The, all the graphs are done. 